Hello and welcome to this uh, uh, video on uh, cuts intersecting outside the circle. Now at the end there's going to be a little assignment and I hope you have a go at this assignment. Now we are supposed to show that the lines uh, OA times OB is equal to OC times OD and we need uh, two chords to produce these lines as we can see now and if we extend the chords BA and DC we find that both chords meet at the point O. Now we need similar triangles in order to show that OA times OB is equal to OC times OD so we get our similar triangles by joining B to C and D to A. So we now have two triangles, one in red and one in green. So triangles OBC and triangle ODA. Now the arc AC substance uh, B at the circumference. And the same arc AC substance D at the circumference. And both B and D are in the same segment. So they're equal. Now the, the two triangles have angle O in common, which then means that uh, angle A and angle C are equal. That, be, that being the case, it then means that uh, triangles OBC and ODA are similar. All right, so if they're similar, uh, if we divide OB, which faces angle C, uh, by OD, which faces angle A, that's equal to OC, which faces angle B, and divided by OA, which faces angle D. And when you cross multiply, you have that OA times OB is equal to OC times OD which is what we're supposed to show. Now, if I put in some numbers to the lines, if you say that OA is eight, and OB is, sorry, and AB is nine, and then OC is seven, and DC we don't know, and if we call it X. So, OA times OB is equal to OC times OD, means that OA, which is 8 times OB. Now OB will be 8 plus 9 and that's 17 and that's equal to OC. OC is 7 okay and OC is 7 and again OD is OC plus X so you then do uh, 136 is equal to 49 because 7 times 7 is 49 plus 7x. So that's 36 uh, is equal to 7 times 7 to 7 plus x. And we get 49 plus x. Take the 49 across and that's equal to 7x. So we then have that 87 is equal to 7x. And then if we divide 87 by 7, we get that x is equal to 12.4 centimeters. Now, sometimes in the exam, you are supposed to find the line BC. And you can use the cosine rule to find BC. Similarly, you can use the cosine rule to find DA, because by now we know the value of X. Now, in the next slide is the assignment. I hope you have a go at the assignment. And here is the task. Uh, we've got a tangent OA and uh, we've got a chord CB and the chord is extended to O so the tangent and the chord extended meet at the point O now OB is 7 and OA is 8 and we're supposed to find the value of CB now how will you do that uh, please get in touch please have a go at the assignment and get in touch again and I look forward to hearing from you. Please, please subscribe and uh, enjoy your day. Thank you for watching and bye-bye now.